Yeah, don't uh, touch that dial because I can't believe this just happened. So I, I'm actually technically in the middle of rendering a new video for you guys. So it's already up. You guys have probably already seen it because I got to space out videos. You need at least an hour in between unless you want YouTube to just bury them. Although who knows, maybe I'll rush out two videos in a row and just see what happens. I guess I haven't done it in a while. Maybe YouTube doesn't bury them anymore. We have something to talk about here uh, because... On one hand, I'm not surprised, but on the other hand, I'm really face palming. I don't get it. I don't understand what happened in uh, mainstream media for them to not understand gaming in this way. Uh, the, the, there's a, just some fundamental, like, not really getting it uh, going on here. And this has to do around the fact that, hey, uh, after today, Super Mario 35th anniversary ends and we lose access to uh, Super Mario 35 on the Nintendo Switch Online service. And they also technically will no longer have new copies sold or at least sold to retailers for Super Mario 3D All-Stars. We all know about this. We've known about it for a while. Nintendo keeps reminding us almost on the daily on social media. Uh, but it's being misconstrued. Because on social media, uh, we, there's a kind of an ongoing sort of serious but also joke that Mario is dying today. Um, not obviously, literally. The franchise isn't dying. Um, but obviously, we're just talking about the death of a couple games that are out on the market that will no longer be available. Now, I want, I want to preface this by reminding you we do have a giveaway going on. Uh, it's, it's, it's for $200 worth of stuff. Video game related, Monster Hunter Rise is involved. Uh, four winners head down to the pinned comment or the uh, you know description to enter. Uh, last day to enter that winners will be announced tomorrow. Let's get into this now. As you see, I'm over on CNN. I was just randomly browsing a bunch of different news sites, getting caught up on the latest, I guess, you know, supposed worldwide news. I'm not even sure what to believe um, from any of these places anymore. And then this was like on the main page of CNN. So I clicked on it because I was like, Super Mario Bros. fans are panicking over rumors that Mario is going to die. So before I even get into the article, what rumors are out there that Mario is going to die? The, the the panicking happening isn't a panic. It's a collective people being upset that we're losing access to two games using the moniker dies as sort of a joke. It's not like Mario's literally going to go away and the franchise is canceled. This isn't internet cancel culture here. It's not a rumor. Factually, games are vanishing. So, like, I already took issue with the title. It gets worse as you read the article. So this was written by Claire Duffy of CNN Business, uh, someone who I'm assuming is not in touch with the video game world. Um, and just saw trending Mario is you know Mario's death or Mario's dying trending or whatever. So it says, grab the tissues. The internet is freaking out over a rumor about the possible impending death of Mario. No, that is not. <laughs> that is not what it. Okay. Anyways, let's go on. Um, the famous red-wearing Italian plumber who changed the world of video games with the release of Super Mario Bros. 35 years ago. Let's back up. In September, the Super Mario Bros. franchise celebrated its 35th anniversary with the launch of two remastered classic games, Super Mario 3D All-Stars and Super Mario Bros. 35. Uh, for the Switch console, that would be available for a limited run until March 31st. Nintendo, uh, which owns the franchise, also released other 35th anniversary Super Mario products that would be on sale through March 31st. Um, mostly retail products in this case. Um, you know, the, the, the pins as an example. Fans have been grappling to understand why sales of new products will cease on Wednesday, um, technically Thursday, a date many felt was arbitrary. Many have speculated that it may mean Mario's life will be ending too. That is not. That is not what's happening. <laughs> oh, this person does not understand internet culture. Holy crud! All right, let me let me go here. Mario dies tomorrow. I'm going to miss him. One Twitter user said, using a sad face. Let's open up. Let's open up the tweet. Let's open up this tweet. This the sad the sad tweet. Mario dies tomorrow. I'm going to miss him. Nathaniel Bandy. Do you guys think Nathaniel Bandy truly believes that Mario is going to think of Do you guys know who Nathaniel Bandy is? 
Okay, he, he is a big time YouTuber, a big time video game YouTuber. Do you really think he's making this in reference that Mario himself is going to die? Or do you think this is a joke? Mario dies tomorrow because Mario 35th anniversary is killing off a couple games. I'm going to miss him. Uh, come on. This is a joke. Nathaniel Bandy is a video game YouTuber. He knows what's going on. This is, he doesn't actually think the franchise is dying and that Mario's dying. Like, this is a joke. A joke. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, get back into the article. Mario dies tomorrow. I can already feel the pain. Another speculator. Let me see. Who said that? Who said it this time? Oh, Theo LePev, five years on YouTube. This random user. Mario dies tomorrow. I can already feel the pain. Do you not get a joke, CNN? It's a joke. you got to be kidding me. What are you doing? This is why mainstream media, this isn't even just like mocking CNN. Mainstream media should not cover video games. They just shouldn't. They don't fundamentally... I mean, we already have issues in the video game industry with video game journalism. You know, straight up Kotaku's and IGN's and Polygon's and Game Informers. Like, we already have our own issues internally with websites that specialize in covering video games. Can you imagine a general new global news... And I, and I get it. We want gaming to be taken serious. And for that, we need to have some acceptance with the global news entities but my word, they actually are framing this as people on Twitter truly think Mario himself as a character dies tomorrow. Oh, my God. Nintendo fueled the rumors. It's not a rumor. Oh, my. All right. When I put out a reminder to fans last month that the anniversary products would not be around much longer, it said Super Mario 3D All-Stars would continue to be available only to those who download it before March 31st, or purchase it, by the way, uh, and Mario Bros. 35 would not be playable at all after that date. To be sure, fan theories on the internet aren't always reliable. There's nothing. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, and there is th I can't believe this article exists. Uh, and there is reason to hope Mario will live on. Okay, what's what, what's what's our reason to hope, CNN? Besides the fact that every Mario game in existence, but those two, will be around. What's 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 the hope? Um, all right. At the end of its reminder last month, Nintendo said titles such as Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, and Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Switch Online version of Super Mario All Stars, will continue to be available on Nintendo eShop and at local retailers beyond March 31st, 2021. Yeah, because those games were going to come out anyways, and we're just kind of tacked into the anniversary, right? We were all we've already had ports of other Mario Wii U games. Clearly, they weren't going to get rid of that. Mario Kart Live was clearly an experiment with AR, that a very good experiment, by the way. And obviously, Super Mario All Stars was just an add-on. They've re-released it before. It was just add-on content for Nintendo Switch Online. It just happened to be, hey, look, we, we have Mario's 35th anniversary. Let's just kind of throw that in the package. They could have, you know, Paper Mario, as an example, if E3 happened last year, Paper Mario would have also been thrown into that package as well. Uh, but, you know, we didn't have E3, so they released Paper Mario when they planned and then just pushed everything else, you know, till later in the year. But I, Oh, my God, Mario's factually not dying. Like, CNN, it's a joke. It's a joke. A joke the entire gaming industry and gaming fans all understand. Nobody actually thinks Mario is dead. <laughs> it's probably also worth noting that March 31st comes just before April Fool. Oh my god. It's not even an April Fool's joke, guys. It doesn't matter that March 31st comes before April Fool's. It's just a, it's, it's just a, a sensational joke about the fact that Nintendo's killing off a couple games. That's all it is. As previously announced, the physical version of Super Mario 3D All-Stars game will not be shipped to retailers beyond Super Mario's 35th anniversary period, ending March 31st. Nintendo of America said in a statement Wednesday, units sh shipped during the anniversary period will remain available for purchase at various retailers while supplies last and in in-store availability should be confirmed with each retailer. When we talked about this before, how physical copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars will probably still be available at some retailers past March 31st. Uh, if they go up and buy up a bunch of digital codes for the game through today from Nintendo, they can make those available to purchase as well. Although, uh, as of yesterday, the digital code was sold out, but it might actually be back in stock. I think I saw it back in stock earlier today. So suggesting that Amazon went ahead, contacted Nintendo, and bought up a bunch of, of dang digital codes for Super Mario 3D All-Stars to continue to sell it, at least for the next week or two. So I'm just, I'm baffled, okay? I'm just baffled. I, I shouldn't be at this point, right? We've seen mainstream media 
Um, not understand video games for some time. Blaming video games for violence despite many actual scientific research papers and, and, and experiments done showing that while there's a correlation of people with violent tendencies to play violent video games, there's not actually a correlation that their violent tendencies are increased due to playing violent video games. There's also no scientific evidence showing that like the act of someone who isn't violent playing a violent video game makes them more violent. That's like this is this has all been going on with all the mass shootings and people trying to, you know, point fingers at, at everything, including video games. And obviously there isn't actually scientific research that backs it up. In fact, it's it's completely the opposite. Um, in fact, some people find found out through research, although this research isn't extensively done, that people with violent tendencies tend to let out some of their aggression while playing games, lowering their chance of being violent in real life. Now, yes, this doesn't count. Obviously, there, there's extenuating circumstances. There's people that are addicted to video games, like addicted to anything else, that'll lash out at their parents and yell at their parents for cutting off the internet or cutting off power. Like, yes, obviously, there's extenuating circumstances with addictions, and a, that that's everywhere. You cut off a, a person a drink, a, addicted to alcohol, you take away their beer while they're drinking it, they're going to probably get violent. Unfortunately, that's just a natural human reaction to addictions. You take away someone's drugs, you take away someone's smokes, you take away anything that you could be addicted to, that's a problem. So it's not necessarily a video game problem. It's just an addiction problem that just exists with the human race. But this like, is just another sh shining example of mainstream media not just, just totally missing the boat. This article could have just all been about, hey, fans are not happy that Nintendo is removing um, games from the 30, uh, due to the ending of the 35th Mario anniversary. That's factually what's happening. Everything else around it is just jokes, memes, and, and, and things that, pe that gamers in the industry totally understand. Like, Nathaniel Bandy does not actually think the Mario franchise is dead. And it's not even an April Fool's joke. He's not, he's not even being that funny. He's just doing a little quip. I put up a thing. I mean, heck, let's, let's look at my Twitter. I put up a thing today um, about it as well. Let's go to my Twitter here. Here's my, my little Twitter scrolling on down here. Hold on, hold on. Uh, somewhere in here. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Hold on. What happened to my tweet? Did, did Twitter delete my tweet? No, oh, there it is. There it is. Dawn of the final day. Rip Mario's 35th. Oh, my God. Mario's dying. Rip my. <laughs> CNN, better write an article. I better see my tweet in your article. Oh, my gosh. And I'm sure they're not the only outlet that's got this wrong. This is just the first one I noticed today. So, anyways, um, thank you, mainstream media, for giving me a reason to make a video because you totally don't understand the gaming industry or gaming fans. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.